Hello and welcome to the channel. So, um, it is a lovely day out here and I think someone mentioned that they would uh, trim my tree for me or something like that. So I'm gonna come trim my tree. I actually gotta get a tree trimmer to uh, come out here. But anyway, what I wanted to go over today, let me get out of the wind a little bit. Uh, what I wanted to go over today was uh, the build cost and kind of what the plans are for the car moving forward. But for now, let me give you guys a cold start. Just to, uh, someone suggested I do this and you wanna hear how I start up the car at night. I haven't driven the car today, so this is gonna be a complete cold start with the garage closed and you can hear kind of how loud it is. Um, I'll open the garage after so you can kind of hear the difference, but it actually does make it so you can like, um, cause it's really only like super loud when the car first starts up then after that it calms down a lot. So one thing that you see for sure is that it is, it is still um, very loud. I mean, that's completely closed garage and it is still loud. So what, we're gonna, what I was gonna go over today is the exact build cost for the 426 in this car. So just to qualify first, the car, I did put a supercharger on the stock 392 first, and that was the very first performance mod that I did to the car. And that cost about 10,000 bucks, and that was fully installed, tuned, and everything, and that was through Sirius HP, the first shop that I went to. Um, anyone who's been with the channel for a while know all this, but I just wanted to qualify all that. So the starting point, for the build prices that I'm going to show you is the 392 with the with the blower on it and um, fuel pump and injectors, but the um, those things won't really come into play much. But um, so this is the supercharger and all the brackets and the intercooler and all that good stuff for it. Other than that, it was a stock motor. It made um, five high 500 wheel, I think 580, 590 on um, Pites's dyno, which um, is roughly Hellcat numbers, I think roughly so uh that's what it made and then of course now it has the 426 and it made 712 or 720 or something like that on pites's dyno which is a, a, as you know, it's a, a low reading Mustang dyno. It doesn't read low, it just reads more accurate, I guess. And um, so as a result, it's the 700, just to put the 720 in perspec into perspective, a, um, a Demon make, made um, 650 or 660 or something like that on that same dyno. So it's a little bit more than de Demon power. So it should be, you know, 800 plus flywheel um, power, which is pretty good. So. Let's go over the build cost. So before we get started and looking at these prices, this one thing I wanted to qualify is um, I worked out all the pricing with Pites, so um, don't take this as like a quote of exactly what it would cost you in your car. Um, could be more or less, I don't know. I'm just showing you what I paid personally. So I um, imagine anybody else would pay a very similar amount. So anyway, let's take a look. So the first thing, this is an Arrington um, Forged 426 Hemi. So that so what that entailed was a um, a complete replacement of the the short block. Um, so it's got a 426 short block from Arrington Performance, and the 392 that was in it was removed and um, 
I sold back to Pites and he used it in a different car or something like that. And just something to note on my 392 is that it was perfect. It's running fine in the other car, so you can boost the 392 without blowing it up. I did it and I'm proof of it. So this is a uh, forged 426 Hemi from Arrington Performance. As you know, you can look at their, their website to get the specs on it. It's, uh, I think the, the target compression for this particular car was like 10 and a half, um, about. So this is a fully forged 426 motor in here. Um, and that was, uh, of course, 5,099. And then there was a ch core charge on the, the motor. So in addition to the 5,099 for the short block, there was another 1,500. And I recouped some of that um, through selling the stock motor back to Pite. So it, it worked out where it was more advantageous for me. So, so no worries there. And a custom camshaft, 800 bucks. Um, Hellcat lifter set. Uh, 422 for four of them valve springs 489 490 call it 160 for push rods phase limiters 100 bucks head gasket 253 dollars um, studs which comes with the uh, main studs i think it came with the block um, head studs 407 bucks spark plugs as you know these cars take a billion of them 143 dollars um, an oil, $110, it was for a couple different oil changes. Uh, oil filter, um, the retune, $250, which is a, obviously a really good price because I'm um, sure it was, not, was a pretty big difference in the tune. And so the la labor for the engine and everything, um, $3,737. And again, I worked that out with Pite, so that you might get a, a, a better or worse price. But um, that's just what I paid personally. And I'm a YouTube star, so keep that in mind. And then um, shipping on the camshaft, the Pro Charger pulley, and as you know, I, I increased the boost on it, and uh, that was 327, or no, that was 89 dollars. And then the shipping on the short block was 327, and this is one of the the big, the big, big boys that I that I did. So this car is a uh, um, has a, a triple pump, four innovations fuel system. And I went with the triple pump system mostly because I wanted to be able to not ever run into a fuel issue. So if I want to make, you know, a thousand, twelve hundred plus, whatever I want to make, I'm going to have the fuel to support that. And doing it now meant that I wasn't going to have a reoccurring cost later if I decided I want to up it. So I can make a lot of power on E85. I just wanted to have a fuel system that was like way over that I wouldn't have to worry about no matter what I do with the car since I did put a forged 426 in here and I'm just running it at you know on a, a maxed out D1SC blower so the motor and the car can handle a lot lot more than what I'm throwing at it right now and um, I just wanted to have this fuel to support that as well um, so for the the triple pump system so this is just for the dual pump I had them add an extra pump so for this for the initial cost for the fuel system was 2263 and then the labor for the fuel system, $747. Now let me just show you real quick. Um, yeah, so upgraded, upgrading the, um, the four innovation fuel system to the triple pump was another $605. So just keep that in mind, it's this plus the $605. Transmission cooler, 300 for parts, 345 in labor. And I did get the head ported. So we used um, Hooper's heads to port the stock heads which looked beautiful by the way. Non-adjustable trailing arms. So we got those, I got those put in and then labor to install those, 115. Oh, by the way, 89.96 for the trailing arms, then 115 to install them. And the G-Force drive shaft, um, I bought that previously um, and uh, essentially they just installed that for me. So um, no cost on that. And that was the other pump for the fuel system. So, uh, and then an Innovators West 6.4 Hemi Overdrive Balancer, and that was 450, and that was the, the main balancer. And I think it's a 12% overdrive or something like that. Um, and then the shipping on the balancer was 71 bucks. Um, miscellaneous hosing and stuff, $7. And some of the feed line for the fuel system, 163 and uh, random nuts and bolts, $8. ATF, $91, because obviously the, the 
transmission cooler and all that is adds transmission fluid. So that was the extra fluid that goes in the cooler and all the lines and all that to increase the capacity a little bit. And then um, a battery, as you know, I've, this car eats batteries like crazy, long story. Anyway, I had to get another battery even though it had a new one. So that's basically it. So you can see the, um, the subtotal on that is $20,817.96. And of course you deduct the $3,500 for my stock motor. And that brings you to $17,317.96. So there you go. That is the cost from, it's not the total cost I've spent on the car, but um, for the 426 portion of the build, which included the fuel system, the cam, the heads, um, and the motor, that was 17300 So as far as whether there's value in all that, that's a longer discussion and we're not gonna get into that right now. I just wanted to let everybody know exactly what I spent on that and you gotta add that on top of the 10,000 that I initially spent on the Pro Charger. And that is uh, obviously 27,000. So that's basically what I've spent in performance mods for this car is 27,000. I paid 40,000 for the car. Um, so obviously I'm 67,000 into the car. Before all the, the, you could have gotten a Hellcat and all that comments for that. Obviously this setup is uh, superior to a Hellcat in many ways, given that it's a Forge 426 with a crazy fuel system and all that. Um, what it lacks currently is the transmission and the, the transmission in this car can't handle like crazy power. I don't know really know what it can handle. Obviously it's doing fine with the power that it has now, but I need to put a built transmission before I can like turn it up a whole bunch. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I just wanted to go over that. Uh, a lot of questions on the cost of the build. So there you go. 17,000 for the Forge 26 and another 10,000 for the Pro Charger on top of that. Clearly there's a ton of redundancy in that. So had I done everything at once i wouldn't have spent twenty-seven thousand. obviously it would have cost just probably a i don't know i'm sure a few thousand dollars less but since i did it in steps and i didn't really plan on putting a 426 when i first bought the car it just worked out that way so it is what it is and um that's the build i just dropped 17 grand be sure to like and subscribe peace